years and years. I actually even moved a couple of times and he would find me. Um, <laughs> and this was not long after I had moved down to Austin. I had lived in New York State before that. I, that's where I grew up. And, uh, and I got a phone call from my parents one day and my mom gets on the phone and she says, guess what, we're going to drive down to Austin and visit you. We've never been to Texas. We want to see it. And I thought, well, that's great. I'd love to see you guys. And then I realized I got Blaze Foley living on my couch. And I <laughs> thought, well, my father can handle a big, drunk, sweaty guy, but um, my mom is probably going to have a bit of a hard time with it. So I had to warn her. So I explained to her, I said, there's this guy. When you get there, there'll be this big, scary man, and he might smell bad, and he might be drunk. Um, but he's my friend. He's a great songwriter, and he lives on my couch. And she said, okay, I'll... I'll try to roll with that some. And, and so they showed up. They drove down from New York State and they showed up at my house one morning and Blaze hadn't come in from the night before yet. And I'm thinking, well, this is going to be interesting. And, and so my parents come into the living room. We're sitting in there talking for about five minutes and then all of a sudden Blaze comes walking in the front door. And I said, Mom, Dad, meet Blaze Foley. And, and my mom looks up at him and she goes, Oh, we just passed you hitchhiking. <laughs> I didn't have the courage to ask her, but I'm, I'm pretty sure she probably locked her door. <laughs> Come and hear my song. 